Hey guys, this is Strategist from Strategist Plays, and I'm playing my level 60 Undead Warlock Ominous. And I'm coming to you live from Kargath. Actually, I'm not live, I'm undead. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready for an Altarc Valley. I signed up for it about an hour and... Eh, how many? A lot, about an hour and 19 minutes ago. So apparently I got three minutes left. So why am I coming to you from Kargath? Because that's my Hearthstone uh, location at the moment. <laughs> And I happened to uh, cast it, and I forgot to uh, cast Undercity instead. Happens to the best of us guys, and gals. Uh, give me one second here, as always. I am trying to sell some items, and before I do that... Alright. Just wanted to put a message out there so I don't take up too much room. Uh, you guys can't see it, but if I don't have a message out there, there's like a computer monitor on my heads-up display, and uh, it kind of gets in the way of a few things. But, Blood uh, and thunder. Yeah, hold on. I'm just going to sell a few items, get them out of the way. I don't really need them. All right. So I've mixed and matched a little bit with my uh, with my gear, and as always, as I always tell you guys that you know it, it's it's always a trade off on things. If I want more damage, my hit points are going to go down. If I want my hit points up, my damage will go down. So right now I'm at a about 507 damage, and that's using my uh, Voidwalker con. So. Right now, it's overall not too, too bad. Let me just zoom out, see what I got around here. Alright. So, I'm betting that once I'm done with the, uh, with the battleground, I'll be able to, um, automatically get back to Undercity. And, make sure that I, uh, uh, lock my hearth position in Undercity. So, all good. I mean, nothing lost, nothing major. So I'm just gonna ride until, uh, until I, I don't know, until I get the gong from the, uh, battleground. So, um, I don't know if you guys were with me last night. Uh, we did, uh, well, we did my first Blackwing Lair with Ominous. My first Blackwing layer overall, and that's because I always PvP'd. I didn't do a whole lot of raiding. So, you know, some people PvP, some people raid. I mean, it's it's all a matter of preference. Some people PvP so much that they decided they'd rather raid or do dungeons. And all those things have kind of happened to me, but I, I still like uh, PvP. <laughs> so, uh, so I did Blackwing layer yesterday, and we the guild actually we we got our revenge on Ragnaros for that uh, fiasco on the last last stream that I did where we actually lost to Ragnaros which we hardly do guys we're actually pretty good but we were we had to mix and match and we didn't have the proper groups for for everything so that kind of uh, worked against us so uh, the guild was like oh man don't post that because you know we're gonna look like noobs hey mistakes happen guys you know uh, things happen I mean, even, even on my best days, I can look like a noob when, you know, like, uh, uh, when Sayonara would tell me I need to go to TB, and I'm like, TB? You know, I'm thinking tuberculosis, you know, or TB. And I was like, what the hell is TB? She's like, Thunderbluff. So things happen, you know, sometimes it happens to everybody. So right now, I am just riding, waiting for uh, Altrek Valley to, to uh, spawn in front of my eyes, in your eyes. So I'm just kind of like uh, riding along to ride. The Maker's Terrace. Let's see. Hmm. I'm a warlock. On a fiery horse I ride. And I'm wanted, along with my void walker and pets. Dead or alive. But I'm undead. Not really a lie. All right, I am not a singer, guys. I'm just going with it, you know. I'm in an AVQ, so I'll stick with it. So Drexy is also in an AVQ. 
All right, one hour and 21 minutes has gone by. Where am I at? You know what? I haven't gone this way. For Pete's sake, maybe I can go this way and see what's up in this corner. And let me put a carrot on the stick, speed myself up a little bit. So I'm telling uh, Drexy's like, I'm in an AVQ. And so I'll stick with it. Nothing much to do in between. So I'm like, uh, in between, huh? So I say, hey, Drexy, maybe we'll be in the same AV. It'd be kind of cool. Like I said, I like hanging out with the guildies. They're good peeps. <laughs> He's like, oh, man, I don't want to be in the same uh, AVQ with Ominous. Things can go wrong. All right, so an excavation site here. And this is Iron, Iron Band's excavation site. And this is a drawback to uh, PvP people. You PvP so much that uh, when you go back to areas that you've probably been in in your, your character back in the day, you don't remember them as well. Why? Because you were busy PvPing all the time. So there's always a drawback, guys. Drexy's not even answering. The poor guy's probably in shock. Oh, man. Not with Ominous. So I, I do hope that you did enjoy the Blackwing layer uh, video. And uh, it, I mean, from my end, it looked a little bit better. Uh, but there's always room for improvement, like uh, also known as a better video card. But I will not uh, bother my wife with that because uh, she will PvP me to death herself, personally. Ooh, ah! <laughs> I wanted to scare him like, oh, crap. <laughs> All right. And guys, this is going to suck. Um, it looks like it's been going a while. So, this bites booty. Because I need honor. Now this sucks. So I need honor and uh, where are we at? I'm, I'm not even going to get a whole lot of points for this. No. This is this is the thing I hate the most is when you you wait for one hour, two hours, two and a half, three hours, whatever, and you end up in an almost finished battleground. <laughs> Break their bones. So so uh, one guy's like, so much rep. I'm like, not for me. I just got here. Total suckage. And I emphasize total suckage. This this totally bites. <laughs> so what that means is this will not be my only AV. I'll be doing a second one coming up. This was, I'm not sure if he was brave or that was just a dumb move, but uh, rest in peace, he's dead. All right, so I am gonna go. Connor's gonna also heal up. And out of all this, I only have two shards. Ah, uh, we're going all in for it. <laughs> Guys, this is the shortest AV possible, but hey, we won. Them. But it is short. So in one sense, it's good because I'm not sure where my time is right now. 41 kills. This is this is pretty sad. I don't know. I guess it, the joke's on me today.
But I'm hoping that maybe my next Alteric Valley um, will go full. Uh, and yes, last time was actually a pretty bad AV too. We lost big time. At least I'm getting me some kills. <laughs> so I sacrificed my uh, Void Walker, and that was basically to uh, get my region back. And right now I'm just collecting souls, people. charge people. Um, I'm just going to eat and I have no idea where we're at. Oh, look at that. There's hope for me yet to get a lot of honor. So I guess I go crazy. Big brother to Big Poppy. All right, so I said, uh, where are we at with uh, Ice Poppy? Big brother to Big Poppy. So uh, that's a baseball reference. Some, some of us, uh, sometimes we're so nerdy we don't realize that that's what it is. coming. And we 
got a hunter up here somewhere. Problem solved, people. All right. Look, I'm not getting full of myself. I, I just thought it was funny for real. Let me see. Because, I mean, funny things happen to me, too. I mean, I get owned a, a lot as well, but that, that was kind of funny. Looks like we made some headway. So we made some headway in here and it looked like it was the end of the game. And I'm telling him to hold the graveyard, don't let them get it back, but you know. Yes, we are coming. Not right now. Now's not a good time. So I just want some health. More health. And then I'll hit him with my... Uh, my drain soul. So I can get me a soul shard. Look, Ma, no void walker. Destroy them. gonna die. don't like Pally. It's that bubble. I play Pally as well, and it's all good, but those those bubbles, man, drive me nuts.
I've been thinking about a song that I want to sing to the Alliance. This goes out to the Alliance. Do you really want to hurt me? Even though I want to kill you, do you want to make me cry? Hmm. Wonder if there's a rogue around here. I thought I heard something, but could be wrong. I need to get closer. Make it. Power to the Forsaken. You can do it. These I really don't get any shard, but hey, if I could drain their life, works for me. And let me just. Yeah, all my buffs are going. do it as a joke but at this point I don't think it'd be appreciated <laughs> and I don't know how I did guys I think I lost a lot of points because I was not here long enough only 74 kills and everybody got 6,000 leave it to me to get 4,752 so that's a bummer guys I need the points. And so, and honor. you know I'm going to have Victory. to do another one. And on top of that, let me see. Uh, wow. This is brutal. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Totally sucked. I'm in the 80,000 mark, guys. 80,000. So I got to get me at least to 97. So that I don't move it too, too much. Uh, 8,229. We'll see. So I am back in the queue. And I got to wait an hour and 23 minutes for my next AV. But I do not know if this will be televised at that point. here. What a bummer.
So I'm just telling like, Gil, Levy totally sucked. We won, but I got but I got it in on it near the end. So imagine the lack of points. So that bites. So someone AFK out at the very end and they totally hosed me is what I said. <sighs> so Kythos is like, I try to just 1v1 people in midfield at that stage in the game. Try to get some real honor points out of them. So everyone pretty much got six, a little over 6,000, like 6,782, I think, and I got like 4,000. <laughs> wow. All right, troll, no, and bone, no, and major. All right, major health potion, yeah, that's right. Quick about your business. Dark lady, watch over you. I'm asking Asteri how many he has for the uh, Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. I'm throwing out a bone if he wants to. So I'm like, okay, go to a Scarlet Monastery and I'll run you through. Yes. Let me see if I can uh So um, I talk about it a lot, guys. If I can help somebody out, I don't care who. I, I will try to help them out. So uh, Asteri is uh, trying to uh, do a Scarlet Monastery graveyard run. So I said, just go go over there, and I'll run you through. So uh, I don't really care about getting items or anything. So, uh, talking too much. So, that's what, uh, so Asteria's like, so I guess no need to stay unless you just want to. I guess. So I'm asking if they were having a problem getting a group.
I know it's rough. I had just started asking. Oh, okay. So yeah, normally um, Arcanite Reaper, it's a low population server. Yeah. So he agrees. I said, I know it's rough at lower levels. He said, yeah, I, I, it's usually hard to find groups. Yeah, it's true. And I said, uh, very true. At one point, it was just my pet and I and some random people that would join me. And she said, I just, I just really want the OH off the last boss in there. And where's Muddy? Are you coming, Muddy? So I don't know where he's. I know he's in Durotar. If we had one more, I could summon, but unfortunately, we don't. We don't. So, okay. Feel free to clear without me if you want. I don't know. I don't care about experience or anything other than last boss drop. <laughs> so I said, uh, never is fun without others. All right. So I am going to. Get ready, buff myself up. Power oh, cool. to the Forsaken. I need to get closer. So it's time to start killing. So I'm gonna set everything up, kill everything I can. Generous.
Tell me. Tell me everything. Naughty secrets. Naughty secrets. Mm. Oh, Some secrets, secrets you want to talk. Hmm. He's telling that to an undead. It's not always a good thing. Chest, not shit. It's all about the food you put in your mouth, people. So I'm just uh, helping out uh, Asteril and Muddy, and Muddy is not present at the moment. So right now I'm just waiting for another Aldrich Valley to uh, to pop. Unfortunately, that uh, last one was just uh, pretty bad. That's my worst nightmare: just getting either halfway or near the end of a battleground.
So again, guys, I'm just running someone through Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Um, they were looking for a group, but it's only them two. And uh, normally when you're lower level, uh, people have moved on. They're higher levels now, so they don't care. Um, so why not? That's the hunger for vengeance. Congrats. <laughs> so, uh, that's what I get it, man. At least I got a thing. So always fun to have that particular orb. Ah, uh, I guess they didn't want some of the... Uh... I guess they didn't want some of the uh, loot, so I'll just grab that. Man, they did not care. They weren't kidding when they said that that's all they wanted. Or actually it was all Aster Astery wanted. All good. Bless you. You're welcome. So now almost an hour left, guys, before I do another Altrack Valley. Um that totally sucked. 
I have tears in my eyes from that one. Hopefully it doesn't happen a second time. I don't want to have half credit when I need full credit to be able to get the points that I need to maybe even out. Um, I have like 87,000 and it'd be nice to have like 97 at, at the very least. I mean, I'm not going to move much from the leaderboard and all that, but it's, you know, it is what it is. So that was that. I'm going to get on my super mount. Just ride into the darkness, not sunset. I don't even know where the sunset is. I'll sell a few of these and see what happens. Oh yeah, so anyway, Blackwing Lair was fun, and I was happy that I got uh, the Nemesis Spalders finally. So that's two items. I got the Nemesis Leggings from Molten Core, and the Nemesis Spalders. So a third set will give me extra 23 damage. A fifth set, uh, my pet gains 20 stamina and 100 spell, 130 spell resistance against all schools of magic. And a set of eight reduces a threat generated by your destruction spells by 20%. Only problem is I really don't really use destruction. I use shadow, but that's okay. There's always, I might change. I mean, I've, I've, uh, I haven't really done destruction though. I've done affliction and demonology and I love demonology for the uh, ability to survive. And that's another thing guys that you don't get. Yeah, you see me every now and then killing people, and every now and then I, I get on the leaderboard, and I, I've said it before. It's, I mean, it's it's fun to be like, ooh, I did it, but it's it's not the end all for everything. Um, sometimes it's if you look at my videos, it's about um, helping out, you know, keeping people feared, keeping people dotted, uh, keeping them away from a healer or another caster. Um, basically, you're trying to do crowd control in your own way. Uh, mages do it best, but uh, a lot can can do it as well um but being uh the demonology spec is more for survivable uh survivability uh but i mean it's not to say that we can't finish off an opponent you see if you've seen some of my pvp videos and some of the videos in general yes you can but uh it's 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 just to survive i mean uh Yes, granted, you'll see me going like, I, I need to kill these people, and I do. But really, it's one, survivability, and two, really, I'm there to support. I'm there to, like, you know, keep people off a flag or, or you know, dot other people and keep them busy with dots or, you know, use a succubus to, to, to uh, you know, keep a, a healer from casting. Or hell, just fearing a healer so he or she can't cast. So all sorts of things come what into play. What do you require? Um, but the bottom line is, it's what you want your character to be. Because you might you might make a uh, demonology spec, but it's really to kill. You know, yeah, you're gonna survive, but you're there to kill. So you'll survive and you'll be able to kill. But it, it when when you have help, it's a lot better than if you're uh, alone. Um, you know, it varies. Every player is different. Hold on, guys. Just want to get rid of some of this. Mm hmm. All right. Goodbye. So, anyway, uh, it's just a matter of opinion. It's a matter of the person's playstyle. Maybe demonology isn't for you. For me, if, if you look at my other videos, me playing Affliction, excuse me, I liked Affliction. Um, I like the damage. I like the ability to, to, to heal. Uh, give me a second. Let me just bring it up. 
So I like the ability that I can use the uh, Scython Life, just cast it on someone and get some health. Uh, and you know, and also I could slow an opponent down. Let me see where's uh, where's my favorite. Curse of Exhaustion. So, I like I like the ability to be able to like it, like cast it on a rogue and slow them down just as much as they're slowing me down with a with a poison. Uh, but when every and, and you've seen the videos, I have multiple uh, classes on me trying to beat me the hell up, and they, sometimes they do a great job. I mean, I'm I'm basically a, a poster child for 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 abuse on the undead at times, you know. Uh, but with with demonology and with the uh, uh, I'm gonna show you the points that I have and, and I've talked about my points last time I thought that you guys could say you couldn't but uh, for talents and this is the affliction tree three suppression five to improve corruption for destruction I noticed yes I'll get into demonology in a second destruction improve shadow bolt five bane five devastation one Shadow burn. I love shadow burn. Originally, I hated it, but I, I like it <laughs> to a point. I just don't like the uh, my shards going away so fast. Uh, for improve uh, for demonology, improve health zone two, demonic embrace five, improve void walker three, fell intellect one, fell domination, great. By the way, one, fell stamina five. Master Summoner 2 out of 2. Demonic Sacrifice, which I'm using right now. I get to regen my health. Uh, it's uh, 1. Then I have Unholy Power 5. Master Demonologist 5. Soul Link 1. And that's pretty much it. But uh, I'm survivable and, and I could do some damage. I mean, uh, that's, that's what I use right now. But again... It all comes back at some point to uh, your gear, you know. Everything comes back to gear at, at some point. Where if you don't have it, it's uh, it's not always a good thing. You'll see this go down. So at one point I was at 200. Before that, uh, after that I was at around three. Then slowly I built myself. I can get myself to 507 with a Void Walker, or with a Succubus to five uh, 549, something like that. But, uh, yeah, not what too bad. There we go. Embrace so, yes, I'm still waiting for something to pop. All right, 16. So I'm going to see if I can um, get me four more minion score stones. And just to be safe. I don't know who Gulfing is. I don't think I've seen that name. Rogue. Alright. And Goro Crater. So when I get near the uh, the gate to Western Plaguelands, I'll uh, rebuff. And then hopefully we can do a secondary all track Valley and I can make amends for that first one that was like horrendous. We won, but it was still horrendous because of the points. For shame. And you know what? Even if my luck is bad today and we lose the Alterac Valley, that's fine. I'll have a third medal so I can turn it in. I mean, so all is good either way. All right, so let me shard myself. All right, Soul Stone.
All right. So once I get four, I'll just return here and uh, return them in. Five hundred and seven with a pet. So um, I know I had mentioned it before. Somebody in our guild can do over three k damage. So I pity anyone that goes up against them. That's alliance. <laughs> so so uh, I don't know that their build or anything. I'm sure it's either it could be destruction uh, or it could be affliction. Like I said, demonology is, is one for survival. Survival. I can barely say the word. And uh, just just to be able to like help support. Still recharging. Yeah, that was close. I almost missed out. Kythos is like, OMG, Blasted Lands is amazing for Grom's blood. Fire Boom and Sun Grass are kind of awful. here just for soul shards which I pretty much got and I need uh, scourge stones so I just need four and it helps if I can get some gold I'm trying to uh, stay over the 100 gold The waiting for an Alltrack Valley is sucky. But the waiting is well worth it when you can get some good, uh, you can get some good good uh, honor kills and points. And hold on guys, I totally messed something up. Kythos is like, yeah, right. Acid Rain. You and Dead love that stuff. Well, I do uh, bathe in a green pool in Undercity, so I guess that could be hold that be that could hold true. So he might have some truth to that. Going. 
gonna kind of suck. I'm gonna have to recast it. It's not bad. said we love our undercity green acid rain awesome to bathe in keeps you rejuvenated <laughs> all right so one more i need one more scourge stone here should be good Showed us like keeps you very in dead. I was like, yep, awesome skin tones too. Mount oh, didn't drop, alright, no problem. Take care of that one. That spell isn't ready yet. Inventory is full. Wow. Didn't drop again. Always watch your back, guys. Or try to. I'm guilty at times of not doing it. Sometimes I get lucky and nothing happens. Other times I'm getting ganked big time. Alright, so I have plenty of shards now. Now it's just a matter of killing these guys and getting me that uh, 20th Scourge Stone. Inventory is full. Mm. the 12 of these then I'm gonna turn in the scorch stones
Carrying vultures after me, go figure. Uh, they're pretty fast. That's yeah, a good point. with them right now. Eh, honored. No complaints, guys. Alright, so I'm pretty much ready for PvP. Mm. Hello, Mark. Perfect. Bye bye now. Speak quickly. Farewell. What is it? Watch your back. All right, I got 20 out of 20, and I want to take a look at something here. So I said, uh, can anyone help me on the following test? The test of skulls, Cronalis, the test of skulls, Scryer, and the test of skulls, Somnus. I need a healer and a bat to the bone tank. I don't know if there's anybody that can help me on this today. But it, I'm throwing it out there because these are uh, to, com to help complete the quest for Anixia. I really need Anixia, guys, because I've never done Anixia either. So that would be kind of cool, but... Uh, the only person I know that could help me put that together is Sayonara. If she gets on, maybe she can help me get other people. But, yeah, we'll see. And I don't know if the dragons will be where I'd like them to be. Not everything goes according to plan, right? See that? You guys hear it? Crickets. So, might not happen today, but I know it will happen. I just don't know when and with who. And a lot of people want to do their own thing. That's what it comes down to a lot of the times. And I haven't heard of Sofa King Hard. You guys get the thing, the play on words uh, in a while. He's an older gentleman that plays uh, World of Warcraft. And uh, he was having problems with um, 
He had a stroke. And Stealthy Boy's comment is, Man, Relentless is an interesting guild. I personally don't know them, but I haven't heard anything bad about them. I don't know. And Snogwoggle asked what I was thinking but didn't say. Why did he say that? Interesting leadership decisions in action. Ah, okay. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. So, I've touched upon leadership in the past, guys. So, find that video. <laughs> there's all sorts of leaders. There's good leadership. There's bad leadership. You know what? Um, I'll say it's either good or bad. The leadership can be good or bad. Not both at the same time. There's never always a middle ground. There's going to be good and there's going to be bad. Either way. Um, so what might be good for one person might not necessarily be good for another. For example, um, uh, let's create a, an imaginary guild. XYZ. Um, and I'm not referring to this skill at all. I, I like the guild, like I said. I've said it in the past many times. But let's just make an imaginar imaginary guild called XYZ. And this can translate as well to work uh, in real life. Um, so they like you. And there's time off that you need and all that. And the manager thinks you're a great person. And basically you get away with it. Even when you run out of time for days off. He hooks you up under the table. He hooks you up. Okay. But then there's Joe Schmo on the other end and the manager or whatever the powers are, they don't like him and he needs time off. Okay. Uh, so he has a day, so they can't, they can't, um, they can't harass him for that. But suddenly let's say his father or something becomes ill, Lord forbid, but the father becomes ill and now he needs more time so so they force him they tell him well you got to go to hr and you have to get uh the fmla Fa family medical leave of absence so they go through that whole thing to get the time off then eventually they run out of that and they're already getting ready to him to get fired him or her in the meantime mr uh xyz that they like and can do no wrong he didn't even have to use FMLA. So you might say, well, that doesn't happen. Guys, it happens. It happens different ways all around the world. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, you also have uh, nepotism. Uh, so you have a family that uh, either A, they run the company or B, uh, they don't run the company, but they work in an area where they're pretty much it's family. Um, and it happens, it happens. And you're the you're the odd person out. Well, guess what? Um, let's say a family member does something incredibly stupid and rips up a, a product or whatever. Uh, nothing happens to them. But if you were to do it and you're not, a, you know, you're not family and let's say they don't like you or it's neutral, it's like down the middle. Well, you're going to, for the same thing, you can get terminated and, and that's life. That That's what happens. So, um, there's going to be good things that happen in, in, uh, and bad things. So. Things can either be good or bad. It's never always right down the middle. <laughs> you know, uh, can it be down the middle? 
a judge can decide down the middle. Usually, let's let's say you're getting a divorce, um, and uh, your wife or her husband or significant other, uh, the judge can say, you know what, you guys are going to split everything 50-50. There you go. There's an example of right down the middle, and that doesn't always happen at work, unless unless you have a fair boss that won't take that crap. Pardon the French. They'll just say, all right, you know, so and so got this, or they they notice something. So and so got this. Uh, well, why isn't the other person getting the same treatment like that? I mean, it can happen. Does it always happen? No. So it's either good or it's either bad. Not necessarily down the middle. Because down the middle for you might not be a good thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the other guy's gotten away with with days off and, and, you know, taking advantage of things that you yourself can't do. So life isn't fair, guys. Get used to it. Uh, but... Like I said, if, if you want right down the middle, get a judge. <laughs> the disciple of Rexar. Hell, I wish I could win the lottery, but what if that goes down the middle? Ooh, all right, let me see. Ooh, relentless. Ooh. Look at that. Perfect timing. Oh, here's another thing on uh, reality. I have a, a friend of mine, you know, a few people that uh, work human resources. And, uh, you know, for those of you out there that's like human resources is for you, like uh, as far as if you're an employee of a company, you're like, I gotta go to human resources, they're for the, the regular employee. Reality check guys are not. They are for the company and they are what's best for the company. So if you're going to be like a, a problem, well, guess what? You don't, you, you know, I have, I have another friend in real life, totally scared of HR. He doesn't want to be in the office of HR other than if it's uh, signing off to work for, um, for another department or he's, he's just getting into the company. But uh, he refuses to deal with HR, bring anything up to HR. He says, hey, those, they're not there for you. And guess what? He's right. HR is not there for you. They're, they're there for the company. They're taking the legal representation of the company in their head when somebody's complaining about something. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. If you, you better have your facts straight if you're going to be dealing with that. Uh, but uh, it, it's, you know, as a uh, person that's done, le you know, has, has dealt in leadership positions and everything, and I have seen like both sides of sexual harassment as far as not me doing it to someone or someone doing it to me, but one person reporting it, which was legit, and another person reporting it that was, wasn't legit, for example. Uh, I've seen both sides. And I've seen that, I've seen the, the ugly side where the said person that was accused didn't do anything, but the company wanted to make him an, him an example. So the guy got terminated, he didn't do anything. So. Um, you know, and that's what I was saying. It's, 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 it's 50, 50 good or bad. It's never always down the middle. So even though the person didn't do anything, he was still terminated. <laughs> so, um, so I, I just want you guys to, to consider that too. I mean, that's, that's the world we live in, you know, that's how it is. And, and this is prior to any anything going on and, and with the, any movement or anything like that it's just uh, uh, life is unfair and either way you you uh, cook it it's gonna be unfair uh, sometimes it's good and it works out other times it's not gonna happen guys all right hope power went offline all right hold on guys there we go so you'll probably see my face light up all over the place and uh, it's just that I'm switching between tasks and everything and I'm still waiting for, geez, now it went longer. So once this hour is up, I still have 27 minutes to go. So, so yeah guys, remember, not everybody's gonna be a winner, not everybody's gonna get first place. Uh, so I pity anyone going to school now that 
Oh, well, Bobby Joe didn't win. No, he's a winner. Everybody in the class is a winner. Boy, reality. That's going to be fun, guys. That is going to be fun because when uh, these same people don't get the rewards that they think they deserve because, you know, they're entitled. Oh, boy, they're going to be a ta uh, train wreck, you know. Um, I wish... I wish I could get first place on all the PvP events that I joined. I wish I could get first place on that lottery ticket that I put in and win a couple of million dollars. You know, because I'm entitled to it. Um, I wish, hell, I wish that everything I did, I would be getting first place. Well, unfortunately, that is not reality, people. And I think, I think uh, when that hits home for the people that are used to getting first place, it's going to hurt not, you know, because they're not used to it. And we're not, you know, when you're not used to losing and, uh, you know, you're used to winning and getting your way all the time and that's not happening in the real world, you know, in the world where you got to make money, in the world where you got to compete with other people to get uh, a, a certain position, um, it's going to suck. So, so like I said, I mean, even, even for example, in game for rank 12, rank 13 and rank 14, is it a given? Is it everybody gets it? No. And even then, there's restrictions. Uh, uh, you have each server has people that keep tight control of whoever's going to get that next rank. Test it out, because if you don't keep that tight control, what's going to happen? It gets out of control, and then in order for you to make like let's say rank 14, you're going to need uh, you know I joke around about 700,000, 800,000 gonna need a million or more because there's gonna be someone somewhere that that's just gonna keep pushing it and you know somehow they'll be wondering how they're they're making uh, you know that they're, they're making a, a million a week how are they doing that well either a it's a bot or B they have multiple people playing the account can't be one person staying awake unless by some miracle uh, let's say it was me I stay up. I mean, I'm barely making 80,000, but let's say that theoretically I decided I want to be ranked 14 and I'm going to like do amazing things. I'm going to make a million uh, honor every week. All right. Uh, first, that would probably be impossible. That's one. I'd probably die uh, from lack of sleep or anything. And the other thing that would happen is I wouldn't sleep. And if I were to like do this live, you would probably see me going like this, half asleep, trying to trying to do combat. I'd probably be uh, in a cave somewhere with my character doing this number. You'd be like, oh, geez, I wonder how Ominous is doing uh, in PvP. And I'd be like this, laying. In real life, I'd be sleeping and my character would be too. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, that's reality. Nobody's going to, not everybody's going to get first place for every little thing. So, rank, rank 13 and 14 is no exception. And that's just the game. Imagine real life. I didn't get my rank 14. Ah, you know, drama. <laughs> so, uh, that should be interesting because you have people like that um, in game, in real life that Lord forbid they don't, if, if they feel justified that somehow they deserve your prize, how dare you take that prize away from them? How dare you? Um, so you have all types of people, but uh, be prepared because... Um, the, the reality for people that think they're always going to get first place and all that is going to suck. Um, so be on the lookout. I'm, I'm just kind of, I've, I've seen uh, dramas unfold where people are not making their rank and you could, you know, you could see it in forums where people are like ticked off, you know, um, just all sorts of crazy things going on. And then there's uh, another thing. Uh, it's it's kind of indirect. Some sometimes when you make it big, people, and I'm saying like, whether it's in life, whether it's in business, whether it's someone you marry, if you make it big, and and making it big, you might marry someone that all all these other guys wanted to marry, but you were lucky enough to marry, for example. Sometimes the word jealousy comes to mind because. Uh, let's say you make it rich. There's going to be people that are jealous that you you have become a success. Uh, let's let's uh, imagine that that you um, you didn't make it rich, but now you're the head of a company. 
well, you'll eventually be rich, but now you got people that are jealous about that. So it's it's a human trait. Uh, I haven't got all that, day. Excuse me. That that just happens. So it, it's sort of like um, wanting that first place, the entitlement syndrome. So you become a CEO, or you become rich, or you know you have the all the toys that you want. Somewhere, somehow, there's going to be people that are jealous and of your you, uh, achievements. So they well. they couldn't they could do it too. Like human nature is, you know, if if Joe Schmo can succeed, anyone else can succeed. You know, uh, but some people they think it's unfair that you succeeded. So they don't see the uh, the hard work that you you do. They don't see the uh, late night uh, hours that you put in for the projects behind the scenes. Uh, they don't see the uh, the amount of effort that you had to do to, to make uh, business deal ABC work through with another company, which may, they, they don't see that. No, what they see is, oh yeah, this guy, he just, he, he it was too easy for them. You know, so they got, they got to be a CEO or they got to be rich. It was too easy for them. Well, you gotta, in the back of your mind, when you succeed or if you're doing really well, know that yeah you're gonna have friends but then you're gonna have the detractors the people that they you know you you came out of nowhere um a good case in point um in management um uh there was uh and i'm talking from personal experience not me but what happened to somebody else uh they they came into the company they they were a regular joe schmo and he became a manager and there were people that were pissed I mean, to their face, they were like, oh yeah, whatever you want. But they were pissed because they wanted that position. So they tried to make the guy's life bad and everything. That didn't work, he was a manager. He was a final say and he wasn't taking the crap. Kudos to him. But uh, what it was, the underlying issue was that they wanted the position that he had. So they felt slighted that they deserved it. Well, you know what? That's life, it's not fair guys. So. So did they deserve it? No, no. Um, sometimes uh, what you think you deserve and what you think you're entitled to are two very different things because you might say, well, I'm entitled to this, but you have 50 other people that that don't believe so. Um, you know, like, um, and you, you, uh... you, you wanna be uh, a CEO of a company. Well, <laughs> there's other people that, that that have the the experience, the knowledge, the know-how to do it, and whereas you're you're not entitled to that position, you know. So, just uh, just some thoughts. I mean, I just read a lot about how people uh, are are either a feeling entitled Beware or the living. or just angry that things aren't going their way. It's life, you know. I could be. It could be a great life for me in the beginning and I might trip and fall into a well for all I know, I don't know. But uh, life is random. You can't think that you're entitled to anything because uh, entitlement uh, is something that's uh, dividing a lot of us, you know? So let's see what happens. Right now I just sit back and I just uh, listen to people like, oh, I'm entitled, I want rank 14, I, rank, why? I deserve rank 14. And then you have somebody, a realist, that says, no, because we have a list of who's going to make that next rank. Ah, I'm quitting the game, F you. It happens, people. Same in real life, too. And I believe I am lagging. I know I'm lagging. Hold on, guys. Yesterday I heard that uh, we were kind of getting like a denial of service attack. So I don't know if uh, something's happening today too. If this keeps up, I'm definitely probably gonna get booted. Hmm. All right, so we'll wait. So yeah, I know these are food for thoughts. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Um, again, not everybody's entitled for that first place. Hell, 
I wish I could win first place all the time, but that doesn't happen. Um, so I worry about what they're teaching kids nowadays because when things go south, how are they going to cope with it? You know, um, then you, you hear a lot of negative uh, things in the news. I've it's, it's so bad now that I don't even listen to the news anymore. Um, you know, I don't want my uh, my feelings being manipulated about people that disagree with so and so or so and so doesn't agree. I'm tired of all the fighting. You know, I'm just tired. Speak quickly. Um, what I'm worried about is uh, COVID-19 and making sure that we all make it through this. And uh, I approve this message, by the way. Actually. Ominous approves this message. <laughs> wow, I am totally like lagging. I wonder if uh, Altrack Valley went insane and uh, the servers is lagging, causing everything else to lag. So here I am. I want to do an Altrack Valley, and I got this going on. Guys, ominous presents lag. Hello. Remember, patience, discipline. This had better be good. Hmm. My bank is full. A, a battleground I did a while back and uh, it's uh, recorded but I remember telling the guys make sure that you cover this graveyard don't let it go we're gonna regret it you think they listened <laughs> we got this covered all right they didn't listen and sure enough it went south <laughs> so and I was like I told you all right so let's see dark iron For the longest time, guys, I'm trying to find dark iron so that I can make a, uh... Oops, wrong one. So I can make my, my bomb. My dark iron bomb. So all I need is a dark iron bar. I need two of them to make myself 300 in engineering. And speaking of that, Guys, I gotta go to Strangle Stranglethorn Vale. Let me 
Let's see if I can find the paperwork that I need. Hmm. I do not appear to have it. This isn't good. Trust no one. Did I drop? I must have dropped the uh, the quest. That's not good. Now well, I got to make a flight. Strangle Thorn Vale. Look at that. I got 12 more minutes according to this for an AV. And that will be my last AV. At least for uh, for today. Unless I manage to sneak something in uh, later tonight. But we'll see. needs a little bit more time guys I'm trying to convince myself because my wife might come and say hey you know you've been here a while playing don't want that in 11 minutes I don't know if I could do what I need to do in 11 minutes Glad I could help. So I don't think I'm up to date on my engineering membership. And that's basically why I'm going to Stranglethorn.
I might not even make it. So guys, another TV viewer, Lurks, Shallow May, Shrisby, welcome. As always, totally appreciate it. Some of you may have not been here for the fiasco that was Alltrack Valley, and I, uh, I ended up not joining the full thing, but coming in a little bit late. That sucked. And the night before that you guys weren't witness to, uh, we totally lost Alltrack Valley, which was good because uh, somebody called it out. The Horde have become complacent in winning, and the Alliance totally owned us. And I'm not talking straight out PvP, it was just an intelligent tactic that they used. They went around us, we totally blew them off, we, we let them go by, and uh, before we knew it, uh, we were trying to slow them down or killing Drek, and uh, that did not work. Uh, in our favor and why because you know that's what happens when you win victory after victory after victory after victory you become complacent people you you think that yeah this one will be the same nope the uh, Lions just it took advantage of it and uh, that's what happens hey that's the same in war you become complacent you don't pay attention to what's going on and next thing you know your opponent is beating you senseless and you're like what just happened you know so that's what happened to us, and I was like, I just, I just wanted that one medal at that point. Um, it, it was bad. I was just like, you know what? I'm happy with two. That way, if, uh, if, if we've won a few all track values and we lose one, I have a third medal. I'll just, uh, I'll trade that in with everything else. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was a unique experience, but it was good because we literally were complacent. Um, so you guys hear me like, we're always winning Alterac Valley, but I do say that we, we at times have our losses with, uh, with, uh, Alliance. Hey, where's the other rudders on this thing? I'm starting to worry. Ah, it won't let me back there. Ah, ha, ha. I wonder if I get up. Fine. One of the, you know what'd be cool, Blizz? If we could climb the ropes. That would be cool. <laughs> All right. So, Brom Gold Camp and then Booty Bay. We got to get to Booty Bay, and I don't even know if I have time six minutes to get to booty bay so the, the quicker i land the quicker i can put two gold and get what i need to get no oh, lagging All right, guys, this is not good. This might not happen, guys. Wow.
I'm, I'm concerned that I'll do an Alteric Valley and this is exactly what I don't want to happen. It's going to happen. Talk about bad luck today. Strength and honor. Gabu. So that's the second time it's happened. Um, let me see if I'm running anything in the background. It doesn't like. I was like, I'm, I said, it's the second time it's happened. First time was incredibly long. I just, I just hope it doesn't happen when I'm in Alterac Valley. I already had bad luck with this, with the first AV. So, uh, I'm cutting it close. I got three minutes. It could do it early. It could do it a little bit late. I just want to get there. You guys, hey, <laughs> deep pop. Let me see if I can. Uh... Oh God. Let me see if I can make it to where I need to go. If this is the is it here, oh, it's right here. I don't want to run out of time. Hmm, interesting. Off and away. All right. Hmm. You better, it better be close. Oh no, not again. <laughs> it's quadruple rep bonus hour right now. And one guy's like, huh? The other guy's like, what? And the other guy's like, only if you win. You didn't read the blue post? You better win. <laughs> ah, jeez. I'm hoping good. I don't want to lie, guys. This has been brutal. I'm gonna die this way, guys.
guys. I am. Let me try something. The Alliance are going to play hard to get some points, so we got to we gotta be brutal. And that's for hitting one of our friends. You know what? How dare you. kind of a lost cause right now guys where we at all right looks like they're trying to get it so anyway guys what I did was I I went through um, Express VPN to try to um, try to save this because uh, my connection, I guess, has sucked. <laughs> and that's me being nice. out Get out. All 
All right, so uh, this is more to my liking. Give me a second, guys. All right. And I like what this guy said, uh, Shawshank. Don't let them leak. So I said, I'll make sure they don't pee and leak. <laughs> Don't know how, but we'll try. <laughs> All right, guys. So, so uh, I'm glad that I'm no longer. Uh, oh, buddy, you are mine. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. One on one. Let's do this. Climatic. All right, I like this guy. And I like me. All right, so let's see how we're looking. Okay. kind of concerned right off in the beginning where I saw the uh, there were no gates I was like oh great I walked into another uh, AV has bow been done yet assist As I get kills, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, guys, it's happening again. Hubby Cuddler. <laughs> out of range. Hubby Cuddler. I like that. As long as I get a kill. So knowing I have lag, I have to kind of be careful too. I need to get closer. I'm out of range. K 
Okay, so. How many kills? 156. All right. I have to go crazy, guys. Or best that I can, given what's happening to me right now. I need to get closer. Oh, come on. You're dead. <laughs> How dare you touch me? Have these fine obs of steel. Alright, it's a horrible Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Oh, this guy's close to him. <laughs> I meant to hug uh, said alliance, but. Uh, oh, look at that. This guy. Oh, he's in for the battle. He's. He's. He's toast. You've been a bad boy, Turbio. Very bad. Or is it bad no? Mm, you look delicious. Hold on. Ah, I'm only worried about those extra hard things I might eat, but that's all right. Mmm. More fun in the sun. Too far away. Will he make it? Oh, he's up against two odds. <laughs> I can regen it, no problem. Is he gonna come back? Destroy them. I am dead. Charge! I need to get closer. It's Conan! You know, I expected Conan to be a little bit taller and more muscular. Disappointed, guys. Let's see. Oh, there's nothing but skin and bones like me. Look at this. Look. Check out my abs. To battle. Ooh, I got a six pack. You, you can't see it, but there it is. All right. <clears throat> so I'm not counting that. Lag death, a death. That that was horrible. I just I don't know what was going on there. I need to get closer. I'm dead, don't cry, but I probably cried when I was like dying, maybe, as an undead. In that famous battle that's never even listed in uh, World of Warcraft. I'm making it up, guys, as I'm going along. I'd probably be good at uh, role playing. Conan! 
must die <laughs> again. So I will summon my Void Walker, and I will become one, soul link to it. Personally, I'd like to suck you. I think I'm more survivable with uh, with Void Walker right now. 507 damage is not bad. Wow, well I got a spirit. <laughs> I guess it's teen spirit? I don't know. I need to get closer. That spell isn't ready yet. Destroy them. Not that guy. Hi, honey. I got a stories for you. Huh? I don't know what happened to that charger. Charge! Yeah, free hellstone. I only got ten percent honor. They keep, I said, uh, I said, hurry, these guys are becoming honorless. They keep doing suicides to us, so we're not getting any points. <laughs> I don't know. I could look for it, but I haven't seen that charger anywhere. It should be downstairs. It could be in the, that closet. What was that? Tell me. Appreciated. Attack! Well, for cause 
modern! All right, <laughs> three locks. See how we're doing, guys. All right, I said sooner or later, guys, we'll have to come up north so we can end it. Break your bones. Grouping at Frost Wolf. Alright, so right now, I'm at 558 for damage. Now, at least I got 11,000. According to the Honor Assist Daily, and I don't know if that's even right.
All I want to do is win another one. If not, at the very least. Now, let's see if I can chew on this. So they want to pull Van now. I don't know if we can do this. Shadow burn along with uh, Shadow Bolt now. And now. <laughs> Finally. Alright. Uh, wow, this is horrible. 69 kills, guys. But at least I got 5,346. We had to rush it. <laughs> So I'm going to turn this in, and wow, guys, what a day. All right, so 15,160 apparently today. I don't know if that's legit. So I'll have like 80 and 15, 95-ish, 96. Speak, friend. And hold on. Go forth to victory. May your blades never dull. Alright, I'm gonna have to do another one later tonight, guys. But uh it's been a rough day. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow. Again, thank you for joining me. We had to pull that really quick. See if we could win. And I'm hoping that. The stream did not get affected by that uh, reboot I had to do. Uh, let's see. And I got to change the title of this because, wow, it's not working. All right, guys. So I am going to head out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit uh, within the same time frame. Actually, no, not tomorrow. Wednesday. Tomorrow I got some things I got to put on YouTube. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. More PvP videos and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, wow, drop frame 600. 600. So, yeah, that was not fun. All right. Thank you, my friends. And uh, hold on, guys. One more thing here. This is not updating properly. So uh, again, another TV viewer, Lurks, Shiloh May, Srisby, and Thicker. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, have yourself a good one, and I will see you come Wednesday night.